Miss Lewis. Working with you on math again. This time, we're still doing math mountains, but this time, we're given the partners and we have to figure out the sum. Okay? So here you're given the part. Let's get to work. You Here you're given the partners six and one. Count your circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the left plus one, one on the right. Count all of your circles for your sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So write a seven here. And the seven is written across the sky and down from heaven. Okay? All right. Here we're given the partners of five and two. How many on the left? Right, five. One, two, three, four, five. How many on the right? One, two. Count for your sum. Check yourself. Five plus two is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Next, um, <clears throat> we have four plus three. Count your circles. On, I mean, what number on the left? Four. Four circles. One, two, three, four. On the right, three circles. One, two, three. Now, four plus three is equal to, count for your sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Across the sky and down from heaven. Now, again, we're showing you that you can have different partners. Six plus one, five plus two, and four plus three, and the sum is seven. Okay? Different partners, you can still get the same sum. Let's move on down. Seven plus one. How many on the left? Seven. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many on the right? One. Seven plus one is equal to count four. Count your circles for your sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. Sliding over. Six plus two. How many on the left? Six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. On the right, two. Good job. Six plus two is equal to count your circles for your sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight again. Sliding on over, five plus three. How many on the left? Five. One, two, three, four, five. How many on the right? Three. One, two, three. Now, Count your circles for your sum. Five plus three is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Say it again. And going to the last one on this row. Row four plus four. How many on the left? Four. Good job. One, two, three, four. On the right, four. One, two, three, four. Count your circles for your sum. Four plus four is equal to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Write your eight. Again, we're showing you that you can have different partners. Seven plus one, six plus two, five plus three, four plus four, and your sum stays the same. Eight. Hop down to the next row. All right. Two partners, eight plus one. How many on the left? Eight. Good job. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus one, one on the right. Count your circles for your sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight plus one is equal to nine. Seven plus two, how many on the left? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus two on the right. One, two. 7 plus 2 is equal to, count your circles for your sum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Another one, sliding over, 6 plus 3. How many on the left? 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many on the right? 3. 1, 2, 3. So, 6 plus 3 is equal to, count your circles for your sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Circle in the line. That's the line. Five plus four, sliding over. How many on the left? Five. Good job. One, two, three, four, five. Plus four on the right. One, two, three, four. So five plus four is equal to.
Count your circles for your sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so let's review a little. You have different partners. Eight and one, seven and two, six and three, five and four, and the sum is nine in all of them. So what you're getting in this lesson is that you can have different partners and get the same sum. Last row. Nine plus one, nine on the left, one on the right. Count for your sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and a zero. Okay? Eight plus two, new partners. Eight on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Plus two on the right. One, two. Count your circles for your sum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, sliding over, 7 plus 3. How many on the left? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 3. 3 on the right. Good, 1, 2, 3. Count your circles for your sum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Alright, 6 plus 4. Two new partners, 6 and 4. How many on the left? 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many on the right? Four. One, two, three, four. Now let's count our circles for our sum. Six plus four is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And five plus five. Same number. That's called the double stack. How many on the left? Five. One, two, three. Four, five. How many on the right? One, two, three, four, five. Count your circles for your sum. Five plus five is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, all of the sums are ten. Ten, 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 ten. But the partners are different each time. Nine and one. Eight and two. Seven and three. Six and four. Five and five. Guys, that's really easy. I know you guys can do it at home. You're such a smart bunch. All right, so next, this is just a review. This is all subtraction. Now, let's talk about subtraction for a minute. When you subtract, you always start with the big number. Subtraction, take away, you subtract, take away, and the symbol is the minus sign, okay? The symbol is the minus sign. I'm going to do this first row with you because your sign does not change, okay? First column, I'm sorry. So, let's get a little smaller pen. I do my work right up top so you can see what's going on. All right, so 5 minus 3. How many circles are you going to start with? 5, right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus 3, take away 3. That means that my answer, which is called the difference, is going to be small. Don't add another set of circles over here, because that will be added. Nope, that's not right. So we'll take those away. Now, minus 3, how many are you going to X out? 3, exactly, from the front or the back. You always X out from the back. 1, 2, 3. Now, Count your circles that don't have an X for your answer, which is called the difference. One, two. You put it in that blue box. So five minus three is equal to two. Okay? Let's go on down. Three minus three. How many are you starting with? Three. Very good. One, two, three. Minus three. How many am I going to X out? Three. From the front or the back? The back. One, two, three. Do I have any left that don't have a zero, I mean an, an X? No, I don't. So 3 minus 3 is equal to zero. Guys, that's called take away all. All right. 4 minus 2. How many do you start with? 4. Good job. 1, 2, 3, 4. Minus 2. X out 2 from the back. 1, 2. That leaves 2 that don't have an X. Read it. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. 
Five minus four. How many are you starting with? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Take away four. X out four. Good. One, two, three, four. I have one left that does not have an X. Let me read it for you. Five minus one is equal to four. I'm, I'm sorry. Five minus four is equal to one. All right, four minus four. What are you starting with? Four. Good job. One, two, three, four. Take away or either minus four. How many are you exiting out? Four. One, two, three, four. Do you have any left that don't have an X? Nope. So what do you put? Zero. Now read it. Four minus four is equal to zero. Very good. So do these here. Um, 9 minus 6. What are you starting with? 9. Good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Minus 6. Take away 6. X out 6, right? Good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Count how many you have left that don't have an X. Write that number in the blue box. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. If you get your circles right, pay attention with drawing your circles and counting them as you draw, you'll get your problem right. Okay? 7 minus 4, how many? 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Take away 4. X out 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Count how many that don't have an X. 1, 2, 3. Write that number in the blue box. Read it. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. 10 minus 2. Beginning amounts get a little bit bigger. 10. I'm sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Take away or minus 2. X out 2 from the back. Count the circles that don't have an X. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Write that answer in the blue box, that number, and then read your equation. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. You have to make sure you get your circles right. Because if you get your circles mixed up or thrown off a little, you might be one over, you might be one down. Okay? This is the last one we're going to do together. 10 minus 4. Beginning amount. 10. Good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Minus 4. X out four from the back. One, two, three, four. Count your circles that don't have an X. One, two, three, four, five, six. Write that number in the blue box. Read your equation. Ten minus four is equal to six. All right. So here, these are all subtractions. I'm not going to do them all with you. Get a piece of paper. You can write them down. Draw your circles. X out and find your difference. Okay? All right. And um, draw math mountains to show all the partners of eight. Draw tiny tumblers to help. You can do that on your, uh, on your own on a piece of paper. The math tumblers are on the other side. Always remember to put an eight at the top. And when you're drawing circles, you can't have more than eight circles. All righty, guys. I'm done for today with math. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye-bye.